Hey everybody, Anish Majumdar here, career coach to the Fiercely Ambitious. Very, very happy uh, that you are here. Uh, what are we here for? To make a simple but very, very powerful change. This is not going to be a long training. I do not want you to give up half of your day to make this change. But if you make this happen, you're going to immediately see an uptick in your success. Professional success. Here's the thing, guys, and here's why I'm doing it. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Anish Majumdar. I am known as the career coach to the fiercely ambitious. I specialize in one thing, helping people realize what their true worth is in the marketplace and showing them a way to get out of this job seeker passive trap and into a place where they're taking more of an active role in their careers, way more of an active role in terms of generating their own offers and roles and moving forward faster on their terms. If that interests you and we are not already connected, I encourage you right now, hop over to LinkedIn, look at that little search bar up top, put in the word Anish, put in the word career. All right, you should see me as the very first um, result there. Click a follow. All right, that would really, really help me out. Uh, it, 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 it certainly affirms and, and sends a signal that says, okay, you're on the right track. You're helping. Uh, you're making a difference out there. And I would sincerely appreciate that. Okay, so if you could just please, if we're not personally connected, or if you haven't followed me, if you prefer to follow me, just hop on over to my profile. You can one click follow. I routinely uh, on a daily basis will share career tips, advice, from a place of actually coaching people just like you and sharing what's actually wor working and what's not. Uh, and there's a lot of BS out there. And what really tires me is seeing hyper-qualified people like you blame existential issues on why they can't get their just desserts. I hate to say it. All right, maybe I'm robbing myself of future business, okay? But the truth is not everything about what's holding you back professionally is some like huge life or destiny thing. Sometimes doing two, three, four things meaningfully differently can completely change your life. I know that when I was uh, in my early 20s, I was an actor and I fancied myself really like just the most laissez-faire type of guy. And I, and I fancied myself bad at math, bad at numbers. Uh, I don't want to be bothered by money whatsoever. So I developed other skill sets. I developed, you know, how to influence, communicate, present, blah, 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 all of that. But you know what? I found myself uh, staring or being pretty close to bankruptcy. And I forced myself because I didn't have a choice. Me, my wife and all that, we, we, we had to force ourselves to, to budget for the first time. We had to force ourselves to... Um, uh, ask ourselves, what can we pair back on? I had to force myself to figure out on how to manage simple things, how to manage auto pay, how to do all of those things. And you know what? Getting 5% better in something that I had 0% proficiency in mattered more than me adding that final 3, 4, 5% to that 90. And a lot of you, rather than looking at this and saying, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't have all the answers to what ails me. Maybe I can't leave the boss today. I can't reinvent the career tomorrow. I can't make that extra 100, 200, 300 grand that I know should have been mine over these last five to six years. I can't correct for that tomorrow. But you know what I can do? I can do one thing be better. I can do one thing more effectively. So why don't we start here? Because this is something any of you can do better. And it's a big reason. Look, guys. Uh, let me share, share something with you here, just so you guys understand what we're talking about and why this simple thing of email subject lines can make such a huge difference, okay? So I'm going to activate my uh, screen share so you can see this, okay? Many of you are spending all this time, right, creating the emails, but you have to understand the people, the targets and stuff like that, your email is lost here, okay? Somewhere in this scroll is your email. Somewhere in the scroll is your email, okay? Similarly, when recruiters, leaders are looking you up on LinkedIn, right? Somewhere in this scroll is you. Somewhere in this scroll is you. And you know what people are doing? Rather than asking themselves, how do I make this rock? Like, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. This is getting better. That's not good enough, right? Rather than looking at this, they spend 100% of their time on the content. They spend 100% of their time on the profile, right? But the thing is, if if the headline for LinkedIn, if your headline doesn't rock and is active and actually goes to a why, goes to some of the things that we're gonna talk about, no one's gonna click on this. So what good was that? Why even waste a second building this thing out? 
Same thing to the email. Why waste so much time on the content? You know what would be better? 80-20 reversing it. The 80% that you spend on the body of your email, spend that 80% on the title and 20% dash off the thing. Because if you've got the eyeballs to it, you're going to probably get the result more than not. And if they don't click on here, you're not going to get anything. It's as though you didn't write it, right? That's why that email subject line is so important. I don't think the message has come out loud and clear that because of how noisy it is out there, you've got to get the little things right. There is way, way, way less forgiveness right now in terms of that first impression. Your email subject line, first impression for email. Your headline for LinkedIn, first impression along with your photo for LinkedIn. They have to rock, okay? So how are they going to rock? What does that mean, right? First of all, let me give you a free tool that you should all grab right now, headlines.sharethrough.com, okay? If you go there, this is a free tool any of you can use. This is the share through headline an analyzer. Would I use this for every subject line that I use? No, but you can use this for literally any title. You can use it for any presentation. You can use it for any webinar. I love it a tons. So if I say, hey, you know, I want to do, um, you know, a presentation on, you know, how graphic designers, you know, uh, can get out of the freelancing trap, right? You know what I mean? And generate their own revenue stream, right? How does this, you know, how does this, how does this actually, you know, stack up, right? Well, if I hit find out, right, uh, what it will do is it'll analyze it. And what's so cool about this, right? It'll tell you, okay, here's the overall score, right? Limited use of passive language. Here's how it does on engagement. Here's how it does on impression. You know what? Not that great. My personal thing is to get this into the, 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 the green zone, right? So if I say um, uh, graphic design SOS, you know, where do we go from here? right? And I'm just trying it out, right? I'm experimenting and I'm seeing, hey, does this one work better? This one works a little bit less better, right? And you see that, right? You, and it's keeping a, a running tab of overall engagement impression. So you can keep working, keep working on it, on the important titles to get it right. Now, for the emails, you're not, you're not going to compose it in, in exactly the same way, but the principles are widely the same for all titles, including email subject lines, okay? Here are a few of the big ones, okay? Get attention, right? Now, uh, I think Stephanie uh, Slavic, who's in my network, I you, you asked a great question uh, last week, which is, you know, what's your take on emojis, right? You might say, oh my God, e emojis are unprofessional, fine. But you still have a responsibility to get attention in that, in that subject line. You have to get attention in that subject line. You have to. You have to stop the scroll, right? If that doesn't happen, you failed, right? Another, another one, relevant, right? When we're talking about especially high level people, why should I care, pal? Why should I care? I see a lot of subject lines that are either default, says nothing, RE dot dot is garbage, okay? It is not going to get sold. And many of the time, it'll be mistakenly put in the spam folder, okay? Um, so relevant, why should I care? right? Get to the point, right in the title, right? Professional, not salesy or consulty. Same thing for your LinkedIn headline, by the way. I see a lot of very qualified people um, making false promises. I can double, triple results. Come on, man. You, you're not at a place to be talking like that, right? It's far better to, 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 to hinge on, hey, uh, strategic catalyst for growth through aligning the tech, the people, the da-da-da. You see what I'm saying? Talk about the process. Talk about the outcome. Talk about the why. But if we're talking about an email subject line, Got to make sure you're not pitching. Got to make sure it's not coming up across like you're drumming up business, okay? Experts discover and choose to solve problems. We don't go out there ham-fisted looking to generate um, uh, uh, um, things out of nowhere. And then a bonus, if you can pique here with some curiosity. And some personal notes for me, magic, uh, counterintuitive, love, uh, etc. In other words, uh, 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 10 things every tech expert is getting wrong about their industry and, and what you can do differently. Whoa, even if, if you don't know what the hell is going on here, it gets attention, right? So counter can be very, very powerful when it comes to creating uh, uh, subject lines, okay? Now, professionally, okay, the right kind of boring can work really, really well for you, okay? So if I say... If I'm taking, uh, uh, you know, if if I'm speaking with Ben uh, on LinkedIn, and then I'm, I'm I want to pivot to to email, uh, a good email subject line can simply be, uh, uh, "Hi Ben, talking with you on LinkedIn, following up," and then the email 
follows up, gives you a call to action. What, what would I do? You know, whatever that next step is, right? So in the subject line, I'm not making any mystery. I'm, I'm actually uh, being a little redundant, right? You probably know that. I might have even said, hey, expect an, an email from me uh, the last time I spoke on LinkedIn, but I'm making it very, very clear. And I'm making it professional, not salesy, not marketing-y. Do you see what I'm saying? Professional, right? I'm activating that professional vibe in you, right? Dialoguing on LinkedIn about de or speaking with you on LinkedIn, following up now, right? So that professional part of you has to get back to me, right? So that's the what I mean by the right kind of boring, right? I'm going to give you guys a couple of other examples as well. Shorthand, as you're getting to know someone, okay? especially let's say a hiring manager, someone who has vested stakes, right? In an offer, in, in anything like that. It's really, really key that you start playing to that shorthand, right? If you can do that in the subject line, so much the better. Let me let me give you an example. Let's say I am uh, um, about to move into negotiating an offer with you and by extension, your company, right? And the last time we spoke, you used a phrase that said, you know what? We're feeling like a hamster on a wheel, right? And if my subject line is, hey, Bill, getting you off that hamster wheel once and for all and burning that thing, right? You immediately, boom, it brings you right back to the best of what we were able to accomplish in that face-to-face. -face, and it allows me to not have to reestablish anything. I see people screwing this up all the time, especially leaders who should know better. The, when you follow up with someone, you don't get points for how beautifully you regurgitate what happened the last time you spoke or dialogued with this person. You get points for moving something forward. If, if you're at a second interview, third meeting, and someone's bringing up something that's a line of dialogue that's already been established, it's not your job to patronize and talk it over. You can say, hey, here's what we discussed last time. Here's what we found. Let's talk about one thing we didn't right? It's your job to direct it. So if you use that shorthand in the email subject line, it's a wonderful way to flip right back into that intimate connected space, right? Late stage to outcome. What does that mean? If we're talking about solving something, there is really only one thing that we should be talking about. And that is how are we getting to that outcome? How are we solving it, right? Here are some uh, email uh, subject lines that you can start using immediately. Talking on LinkedIn, as we said, reaching out, some variation of that. Stopping the, ch the team churn, right? Talking about the outcome, right? I'm not letting you once I know the real pain that you're that you're um, experiencing, I'm not interested in letting you off the hook, right? So if I'm following up with you, there's one thing I'm following up with you on. What are we going to do to stop this, right? Because I'm a believer because I know that we can. Restating our main goals here, things are getting lost, okay? So you'll notice here in this subject line, right? What I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of a negative anchor point here to make sure I have your attention, right? Make sure I have your attention. So using a little bit of that negative edge there, hey, we're losing out here. Not happy with how things are going here, you know? Um, um, uh, uh, a career site that I uh, used to advise for and have worked with several years ago, I'm, I wasn't happy with their direction that they were going. I just, And I was giving them taking my time out to give improvements. And I had a subject line similar similar to that. You know what I mean? I want it to be absolutely clear. Disappointed with the trajectory of, of the sale, uh, of the sales uh, division and the absolute lack of support or the lack of support from X, right? Here's what we can do about it, right? So you can absolutely restate or do that. Will you join me on this first name? In other words, whatever the person's first name is, adding that to the email subject line and personalizing it that way can be a very, very um, um, effective one. PMO launch, step one, undone, next steps, what's going to happen, right? Boom. I'm just following through, following through, following through. These types of messages always, 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 if you're dealing with someone who's not, um, you know, completely irresponsible, you're going to get a, a response to these subject lines, okay? Uh, they activate that. And now when I'm super personal, sometimes I would, I'll have a, something like that, dude, I love you for this. And the perennial ones that will always get, get uh, responses, thank you, I'm sorry, a good place to start. I think you would agree. Hopefully you are taking these notes down, okay? Now, um, something that you can do right now, guys, uh, and let me... Uh, let me pop up my uh, LinkedIn profile uh, boop, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. One thing that you can do right now in terms of the next step beyond this, if you feel like this is helpful, if you feel like this is like rocking and roll with you, uh, um, hop on over to my profile. Okay. You're going to see my about section. I've just made a couple of updates to it. Okay. Right here, the bottom of that, you're going to see a couple of links. Okay. I'm going to drop them in the comments, but honestly... 
I'm not a big fan of spoon feeding things. You know, I think there's enough people out there who are, um, you know, moaning and, and, and complaining. Very few have that hustle and that fire it, um, within. If you have that, you're going to get and you should get everything that you want. Right. Because that need inside of you to be better, whether it's in something smaller, like a, an email subject line, so that every single one. So you can get that five percent, eight percent, 10 percent uptick in re responses. You know how important that is. You know how important it is not to be capricious about that stuff and to link up those improvements because, you know, this coming year is going to be the best of your professional life. If that is you, I'm not even going to drop these links in the comments. I want you to hop over to LinkedIn. I want you to follow me. I want you to grab these links for yourself. Grab a end-to-end -end masterclass that will show you exactly what we're doing with our masterminders. It's a teaching class, not a selling class. So it'll teach you our methodology. And again, you can start applying this in a practical way like this if you've been enjoying the teaching here. Here's another thing, okay? Interview coaching, this is a legacy interview coaching program that I'm offering for free to anyone who wants it. Why am I offering it for free? For two reasons. Number one, the people that we work with, we get them out of interviewing forever. They don't have to interview. They talk with leaders. They build relationships as equals. So they don't, they, it's not reliant in that way. Secondly, this program, which I was up, uh, actively teaching up until uh, uh, a while back, this, this program still is very much ensconced in our way of thinking, which is radical empowerment, radical moves, bold results. And there is no one in the space who's making this, this type of impact happen, okay? So if you're interested, grab this right now before you get back to the business of other people's priorities, other bosses, other people, even other family members and loved ones. Take some time for yourself right now. Take a step for yourself that is actually gonna do something that's really gonna make sense, okay? If that is you, I would really, really, really uh, appreciate that. And I think you're really gonna get um, some great value out of that. Guys, thank you guys again for joining me on this. Uh, short training. Hope you got some great value out of that. Talk soon.